are you today, Miss Cools? Doing good, how are you? Good. So, uh, we are out on Miss Cools' first ride on her new bike. And uh, I just finished putting it together last night. I was rushing to try to get it done. We're actually heading to this uh, bike event today. It's Sunday. It, does it feel a little too aggressive? feels after a while. Cool. Well, this will be the first time uh, this bike has been out with Miss Cool, so it'll be fun to go show it off at the Vintage Bike Show. We're going over to Forestville, California. We drove our bikes to the car it to the cars drive it. Two hours. Alright, we've got the we've got a couple of Italians here, Italian steel bikes. Miss Cools. These are these are practical. These are real practical. Wow, your bike looks so aggressive. Slam. This is a, a Sun XCD wheel. I bought this for my specialized expedition touring bike uh, that I have since sold. And this was a wheel set I purchased for that bike, but ended up taking it off. I did a whole video. I went down to a mechanic. I mean, I looked it over. I couldn't figure out what was wrong with it. So I decided 
Uh, I was heading into the city anyhow, so I thought I would take it to a mechanic and see if they had any idea what was wrong with it. And uh, they took the hub apart and they couldn't really address the issue. But basically what's happening is this free hub body is very wobbly. It, uh, the cassette wobbles. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this wheel off and we're going to swap on a different wheel set. Unfortunately, they are not silver like these. I think these really do look very, very cool. I love the high flange hubs. I love the silver rim. Uh, I just think it looks really classic. These are 32 spoke wheels, but uh, because of the rear, because of the free hub body, they just aren't working. And this is a 10 speed free hub body, which means I could only run a 10 speed anyway. So we want to get it back. We want to get the full 11 speed. So Miss Cools can try it out today. We're going to go for another ride and uh, we're going to make a couple adjustments. We're going to change the uh, saddle height a bit. Uh, we're going to change the stem height a little bit and try it. Just, just try something a little bit different just to see what she thinks. I might have brought one too many pairs of gloves. <laughs> well, Mr. Wildberry, you built me a really beautiful road bike and I love it. All right, very cool. So, yeah, we're out on our second ride today and we had to change a few things from the first ride. Um, we couldn't, we had to cut the seat post down because we couldn't, uh, lower the saddle enough at first um, so we kept the seat post down lowered the saddle raised the handlebars a little bit and swapped the wheels out how's we it fit now oh the fit feels better does it feel better yeah how does it feel, feel compared to your other bike you know your your other bike yeah. this the handlebars are almost level with yeah. the saddle how does this one feel um it feels a little lower but it doesn't feel drastic does it, it feel too extreme um, yesterday it did, but that was because we had the saddle too high, mm -hmm. uh, because we couldn't put any, any lower. Today it doesn't feel too, too extreme. I might not want to have it that low on a really long ride, but for a shorter okay. one, yeah. it's good. Well, the first ride yeah. was a little over, it was about 55 miles, so you're in a really extreme position then. And now today we're out riding and, you know, yeah. we're not going to do that big of a ride today, but uh, you should get a better feel now. This is about as good as I think we can make it to fit you. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a road bike, so it's got a little bit more of an aggressive geometry to it. Yeah. So. So. How about on the climb this morning? So we were we were doing a climb. Uh, the gearing on this is it's it's a and this is actually a cyclocross crank set. Mm -hmm. So it has a forty six thirty six on the front. How did it feel? On, with the 36 and the 32 going up, going up the climbs today? Um, it was a little, it was a little hard on the steep climbs. And so I would stand out of saddle sometimes, mm -hmm. but um, it was, yeah. So it was just a little hard when it got really steep. Yeah. And uh, how much does the bike weigh with all this stuff on it? Um, about 19 pounds okay. with pedals. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what would you change about it if you could? Oh, um, well, I guess as with with all with road bikes in general, just having wider tire clearance would be better. I think to be able to fit a little wider tires. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, those are twenty five, yeah. so they are fairly narrow. Mm -hmm. We tried to but. put twenty eights on it. We could get a twenty eight on the front, no problem, but the back is where the clearance is tight. So what is the frame? What is tell tell everyone what the frame is, where you got it? It's a Tomasini and uh, we found it at the bike shop one day when we were out in Sebastopol, the Sebastopol Bike Center. And um, he had it in the in the back room and just um, 
basically, yeah, and you surprised me by picking it up one day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we looked at it that first day mm -hmm. and I, I was really tempted to buy it. And then I was like, well, let's, let's think about it because, you know, I didn't want to buy something that, you know, we weren't going to use. Mm -hmm. So then I went home, we went home and thought about it. And I was like, you know what, let's just do it. Let's build it. Yeah. You got your road racing bike now. <laughs> now that we now we both have a road bike that we can we'll be riding a lot of doing a lot of summer rides on these bikes. Oh yeah. I can't wait. Yeah. So we don't know what the whole history of the frame is, but it's probably an early eighties frame. It's it says Tomasini on it. It has Campagnolo dropouts. It has this really beautiful Tomasini fork and fork crown. It's got the little uh pentagraph on the top beautiful i love the curve it's just it's just elegant uh, chrome it's so nice it's got this purple metallic flaked purple with a metallic flake paint and uh max who i got my colnago frame uh happened who i got a colnago frame and it turned out it was actually max's bike originally and we anyway when i went to show him the colnago frame i showed him this frame and he pointed out this little yellow sticker down here says painted by Ed Litton. And Ed Litton is a local to where we live. So we don't know whether this was uh, the original paint, if he touched it up or anything. We don't know the full history of the bike. Yep. But so. there are some interesting things. Max pointed out that the decals are upside down. The American flag is upside down and then this is upside down. So it could have been a full repaint. Yeah. And it may not even be a Tomasini frame. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even know. Yeah. But it is but, light. <laughs> so. Yeah. So. And it has an Italian bottom bracket and it's cut out on the bottom. Uh huh. So it's probably a Tomasini. He probably just ordered new decals and then. And then. Ex yeah. Accidentally or maybe intentionally. Or maybe they're supposed to be like. See, yeah. we don't even know. Maybe they're supposed to be upside huh. down. But I think it's supposed to go the other way. I think this was on the at that mm -hmm. side which would then put the American flag <laughs> on the bottom down here and this flag, the Italian flag and the Swiss flag and all that up on the top. And the French flag would be down on, the, I don't know, whatever, exactly. it doesn't matter. So, yeah. yeah. And then we, and got, we sourced all the build parts from a couple of bikes, well, one bike and some eBay mm -hmm. stuff. Yep. Peter, yeah. our buddy Pre Peter, who I inherited a bike from, uh, the, some of the parts are from his bike and then we ordered some ebay specials and uh, did some bidding wars and acquired everything we needed yeah so we've got this yeah. really cool cyclocross crank and we picked that because it has a smaller bolt circle diameter and then and that way you can run compact chain rings yeah so and then that's... the rear cassettes in 11 to 32 so you get some pretty good climbing gears out of it yeah yeah, it'll be really good, really good climbing gears. And uh, we'll swap out the other chain ring for a little bit lower in the front. Yeah, like it's a 4636, that's the mm -hmm. cyclocross, but we're gonna try to do a 34 on it. But, so what are your impressions of the of the ride? Um, and the fit, and the fit. The fit, the fit is really good, uh, it feels pretty comfortable and the the drop the handlebar drop is a little lower um than my fit spike um so it's it's something to get used to but it feels pretty comfortable overall i would i don't think i would do i wouldn't ride it on like a really long ride okay. but for maybe i don't know um but for our shorter road rides that we do around here it would be good for that yeah and we did so. use a modern shaped bar even though it's a, uh, uh -huh. even though it's um, got the traditional, you know, twenty-five point four diameter clamp. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Well. So, yep. Very cool. So it's uh, kind of a retro modern. Mm-hmm. Or what's the other word they use for that? Uh, um. Oh, I forget. Oh well. Hmm. It doesn't I'll think, matter. Have to think about it. It's not. It's not remember. a. It's not a. You know not a purist bike by any means 
No, it's a bunch of parts. A bunch of parts. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bunch of parts <laughs> thrown together, and there it is. But they all work together really good. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Well, um, very cool. I'm really excited for you, Miss Cools. Uh, Thank you. Know, you. Hope you yeah. like it. I hope you get a lot of miles on it. Oh, we'll, we'll be riding it a lot. Yeah, yeah. and I want to get my Colnago built so I can join you in the retro road bike scene. <laughs> I think that's a great scene to be in. You know, because then you don't have to, when you're out on a retro bike, like, you just don't have to take it too seriously. You can just go have fun. Yeah. That's what's cool about it. And you can still ride fast. But you can, you, when, you, when you blow up, you can, just, uh, you can just slow down and no one will know that you just blew yourself up. <laughs> They'll just say, what's happening over here? What's this guy doing? You okay? You need some help? No, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'll be fine. <laughs> you know, just checking, just checking over the bike here. Everything's fine. <laughs> as I'm keeled over on the side of the road but uh <laughs> yeah well fun this is gonna be fun I think this summer yeah. is gonna be a lot of fun yeah we'll be taking it out a lot yeah with our road bikes. we're gonna have to get some uh ret more retro jerseys <laughs> we gotta get like uh like a 7-eleven jersey although mm -hmm. I don't think they they didn't ride Tomasini's we're not gonna match whatever it is I doubt we'll ever match we're never gonna have a full matching set but but we'll be in our costumes. Yeah. We're gonna get in our costumes so we can ride our bikes. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that guy? He's like, why do you have to dress up in a costume oh. to go ride a bicycle? Oh, yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Because we want to. That's why. Oh, Is yeah. there a re Do we have to have a reason why? How about because we want to? <laughs> That's a good enough reason for me. <laughs> yeah. Happy holidays, so, everyone. Yep, yeah, happy holidays. And thanks again for everyone following along. Really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you in the new year. Maybe before, sooner. Maybe sooner, yeah. Maybe before then. Okay. And, all right. Take care. Bye.